There are multiple ways to check Headspace. In this video, we're gonna talk about what Headspace is, and then we're gonna cover three different ways with tools ranging from basically free to premium. Gavin Gu here from ultimatereloader.com. Headspace is a topic that can be ambiguous and can be confusing. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna be talking about bottleneck rifle cartridges. Headspace in a bottleneck rifle cartridge specifically is the distance from the bolt face to a reference line on the part of the shell casing that stops it from moving forward when it's chambered. For a bottleneck rifle cartridge, that is the shoulder itself. We're gonna be using 6.5 PRC as an example. I've got from Dave Manson here a go and a no-go gauge. These have basically zero reference and zero plus six thousandths of an inch, thereabouts five or six thousandths. And we're gonna be looking at different ways to measure and quantify headspace. And there's two ways that we can do that. We can care about an absolute number, right? When I talked about headspace in the chamber, it's the distance from the bolt face to the shoulder, essentially. It's a magic line on that shoulder. We could actually measure and capture that value. But another way to, we talk about headspace, in addition to the chamber and the bolt and all the internal workings of the firearm, is the base to datum line, the base to shoulder on cartridges that we're gonna shoot, that we're gonna resize, we might be setting up a sizing die, that kind of thing. So if we take out our handy dandy SAMI chart for the 6.5 PRC, we have two diagrams here. We have the ammunition on the top and we have the chamber on the bottom. And you can see here, from the base to this imaginary line, this is 420 thousandths of an inch in diameter, we have a very specific value. If we follow that back, it's 1.6486. So if we care about an absolute number, we can actually measure that. If we only care how far we've pushed back the shoulder, shoulder bump when we're resizing, we don't care about that absolute method. So without further ado, we're gonna walk through different tools and different methods to measure headspace. I remember when I started reloading, I didn't have enough money for case lube, so I literally used Lemon Pledge. If you're on that kind of a budget, you might be able to find something in your garage like this plastic bushing. This is literally just a plastic standoff that I had, I don't know, from a snow plow mount for my UTV, something like that. It has a hole. The hole is not 420 in diameter. So therefore we can't take an absolute headspace measurement for this go and no go gauge. But what we can do is we can look at the difference between the two. So what I'm gonna do here is, this is a little bit tricky with this, this kind of a setup, but we're gonna basically just stack everything in here. You can see that. Okay, I'm gonna spin it a little bit, make sure that it feels stable, and then I'm gonna hit the zero. Okay, now if I grab the no-go gauge, we should see plus something, plus five or six thousandths of an inch, somewhere in that vicinity. I can't recall what this one is. We'll compare kind of across the board. Okay, so this says plus four and a half thousandths. So while this is plastic, this is not a completely precision, you know, drilled surface here. I can see a little bit of lines there from the injection molding or however this was made. In a pinch, you can get a rough number. Now for uh, an AR-15, you might be pushing the shoulder back four, five thousandths of an inch when you're reloading. This would be plenty accurate for that. If you're in the bench rest game, probably not. Okay, on to our next tool. Probably the most popular tool for checking headspace and measuring headspace is the Hornady Headspace Comparator Kit. This is kind of an all-inclusive kit that has different diameters including E here, which is 420, the exact reference diameter that we saw on the SAMI chart for 6.5 PRC, check. And it's got this adapter that's gonna allow us to clamp this onto the jaw of our digital calipers. Doesn't tip like our plastic bushing does. This is the only tool that I'm gonna show you that will give you absolute value. Now, hypothetically, we could do that if we had a metal or plastic donut bushing that had the correct diameter. If I bored this out to 420, this would be a decent absolute headspace comparator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tool, I'm gonna put the jaw against the edge of the tool there, and I'm gonna zero it out. Okay, 
Now if we take our GO gauge, this should be pretty close to that reference diameter that we see on the SAMI chart. As you can see there, it says 1641, 1.641 inches. And on our reference chart for the chamber, we have a value of 1.6486. Now on the ammunition, it says 1.6517. So this gauge is gonna be somewhere in there. Now, what happens if we zero out here and then we put our no-go gauge in, we should see a larger value. Let this settle in. I can see that rocking just a little bit. That says six thousandths of an inch. Recall we saw, I think it was four and a half thousandths for the plastic donut. I'm guessing this is going to give us a, a better value, a more consistent reading, because this is aluminum, whereas we had plastic there, which is subject to deformation. So this tool is going to be good for either absolute or relative headspace. On to the next tool. Moving our way up, we have a tool, the Ellie Wilson Case Gauge Micrometer, that is going to complement a tool that you should have for each cartridge that you reload for, which is a case gauge. This is the Ellie Wilson case gauge for 6.5 PRC. This tool fits on the back. It does something very simple. It tells you how high or low the cartridge sits in the case gauge. The case gauge is closer to mimicking what happens in the rifle, and that is the most important thing. This can be used to check relative headspace and to quantify relative headspace. How much did you bump the shoulder? This gauge will tell you. So let's start with the go gauge. We're gonna drop that in. We're gonna see where things sit. You can see the scale here. I'm just gonna crank it down until I feel it hit. It hits just shy of 20. Okay, now when we put our no go gauge in, we're gonna see a result that is a little bit different. Rotate the scale so that you can see that. I'm holding this down against the case gauge. So there we see a total difference of about six thousandths of an inch. Longer that is, right? Because this is the no-go gauge. This is the gauge that should not chamber in your firearm. It checks for excess headspace. So the Ellie Wilson case gauge micrometer agreed with the Hornady headspace comparator kit and if you already have the case gauge, this tool comes in at around $70 to $80 a street price, somewhere thereabouts. Uh, it's a good investment because it's gonna work with any of the case gauges that you have for those cartridges. Okay, working our way up. Next, we're gonna go to the Cadillac tool. All right, working our way to the end here, we have the most expensive tool and the one with kind of the most comprehensive functionality. This is the Short Action Customs Modular Headspace Comparator Kit. This works for headspace, measurements and also base to ogive bullet seating depth measurements. In both cases, there is an angle cut for the bullet comparator functionality. It's a very shallow angle that matches the ogive of the bullet. For headspace, it happens to coincide with the shoulder angle. So when your cartridge or a headspace gauge, in this case, meets up with it, it's very, very solid and contacts in a very definitive way. So here we have the go and the no go. These are also toolless for interchange. There's an O-ring, it snaps right in. Let's see what this is gonna say. This does not give us an absolute value. This is for relative measurements. Okay, so we're gonna zero out here on our go, and then we're gonna take our no-go and see what kind of difference we observe here. Six thousandths of an inch. It's just that simple. So there you go, three different ways to measure headspace. I've lumped the Hornady headspace comparator and the plastic bushing into the same methodology because essentially they use the same method. I would not suggest using plastic. I think if you drilled the appropriate diameter and used a metal donut, that would actually work pretty good. It's a little tippy in the way that it works. And then of course you can work your way progressively up to more expensive tools that have better fit and finish, better materials, that kind of thing. There's no one solution for this problem. There's different ways, and chances are when you get serious about your reloading, you're probably gonna have more than one type of tool 
for checking Headspace. Here's what I want to know is how do you like to check Headspace? Please drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make your voice heard. If you have something to say, please drop a comment. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not going to want to miss the awesome content that is coming up. And finally, flex your reloading pride. You could look great in one of these t-shirts. We've got multiple designs at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'll see you later because I'm off to go shooting.